The thing is, don't let these glasses fool you. Because contrary to what the BBC was saying, first thing on the weather this morning, it was supposed to be the sunniest, warmest day of the year so far. And in fact, that was a, frankly a lie. So I put on this flimsy, frankly, shirt to go out for my village walk this morning, only to find that it's about minus 10. There's a broad wind blowing and thick grey cloud everywhere. So I'm afraid if the BBC could arrange for those presenters on the weather to be taken out and shot, that would be a result. Anyway, I've, um, I'm back with my mates. Look, there they all are, sleeping peacefully in the village graveyard. And it's an auspicious day today. Oh, so, oh, excuse the bobbly camera work. Because it's Easter Sunday. Now, I confess to being slightly confused about this because it's a curious old mishmash. First of all, can I just say I'm a southerner, which explains the accent for those of you, and there are no subtitles to this. So it's a curious sort of mishmash. I mean, for me, as someone who likes to go shopping in Waitrose of a Sunday, it's a frustration, quite frankly, that because of some book written over a couple of thousand years ago, or nearly 2,000 years ago, that I can't do that. Complaint number one, you know, and, and this isn't a whinge. I just want to make that absolutely clear, but it's just the muddleness of it all. Because the I know it as a Sussex villager in Old England town on sea, and um, that this is a sort of occasion where we shove people inside wicker men, set fire to it, and then put children round a pole to celebrate fertility or something and then along comes Johnny Christian and says no 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 this needs this isn't nearly zombie enough so we need to in, inject a little ghostage a little zombie and uh, more creepiness in general and I'll also shut the supermarkets now this is a very strange cater of affairs if you ask me and so I'm feeling a little disjointed this morning and actually I've got to be a bit careful here because behind me any minute now will probably be pe people in the best gathering round to sing songs to their God. And you know, one doesn't mock. I'm, fellow, I'm not going to mock, but it is ridiculous. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So I thought I'd do a quick report um, today, oh look, there's a blackbird. Today, um, we're going to go into Hastings on Sea. We're going to see my sister. And she's going to do a lovely something or other round the table. And we will gather there. We probably won't sing. And of course, she won't have gone to the supermarket today. Good. Shut. Shut. Anyway. So, um, and then we'll probably have a little bit of cake and we'll chat and we'll do the sorts of things that my friends here were doing about 400 years ago. I should really zoom into that one. Now, that, that, that one over there, that one, her, very interesting, very old, that, older than me. And I want to finish this missive today with just a general piece of East Sussex advice. And I feel that moving forward, as we do, with these reports, tedious as they are, I always want to end on something that people can take away with them and apply to their lives to make everything fabulous. And so I'm going to apply the old adage, the answer lies in the soil, because it does. OK, bye bye.